Prislin with a pull up three pointer. It's good. Dickert open from three point land. Good. Wood gets a screen from Went, nails a three. Lightbomb with a pull up. Jay nails it. Ricky bank shot good. Waiter for three. Got it. Intercepted and laid off the glass. Deep shot from the side is up and good. Risberg's two point a shot is in. Splits for the fence and scores with two seconds to go. Hello everyone, welcome to South High School where tonight it's a Fox River Valley Conference battle for second place as the Red Wings of Sheboygan South host the Green Bay East Red Devils. I'm Stu Hoffensperger and with me, and he's always here, the guru of Sheboygan sports, Mike Martin and Marty. Uh, interesting matchup, South looking for a little bit of revenge tonight. Uh, they have a score to settle. They lost the East the first time around. Actually, we're down by a lot. I think up to 19 points. They came back, were able to cut it to four, had a chance to cut it to two and missed the layup, and then East battled back. So South never able to get over the hump in that game and wound up losing. So yeah, they're looking for revenge tonight and like you mentioned in the opening, clinching second place. This is always the time of the year where we talk about momentum and uh, you know getting ready for the tournament. This is gonna speak volumes for either one of these teams to come away with a victory tonight. Well, South has been playing well of late, and uh, they have an identity, you know, they know who to go to on offense, they know who their defensive stoppers are, that kind of thing. They've developed into that as the season has wore on. Could say the same thing for East. They had an easy game last week. They walked all over Green Bay West. Uh, on the flip side, South uh, struggled but won here last week. So it's hard to say who has, the, you know, the momentum advantage tonight. I think it's a wash there. Red Wings will have to contend with one of the bigger guards in the conference in uh, Green Bay East, Harry Boyce. Harry Boyce goes 6-3. He's going to be guarded tonight. I talked with Dan Koopman prior to us going on by uh, Jake Wilson, who's 5'10". And on the surface, you know, that seems like a mismatch. But what Harry Boyce does not do is he doesn't go underneath the basket much. He, mo he more is on an outside and takes the outside shot. But if you're a good jump shooter, that 5'10 guy is not going to stop a 6-3 jump shooter. Sheboygan South's been led all season long by Nick Phelan. He's averaging almost 16 points a game, one of the top scorers in the area. That's really what their offense revolves around. Uh, not necessarily, because they look inside a lot to uh, Scott Murphy, and then they'll go inside, outside, and they've had a lot of success with that uh, the last couple of games. Where have you been? <laughs> and uh, the thing that's going to hurt South, though, I think, in terms of uh, defense from East, is if they put Harry Boyce on Nick Vale and a 6'3 guy and another 5'10 guy, he's going to have a hard time finding a shot. All right, there'll be a lot, of, a lot of red and white in the gym tonight. The big scramble for second place in the Valley. We'll be back with the opening tip right after this. Certified Angus beef from Piggly Wiggly. Dad like big juicy steaks. T-bone, four and a half. But steakhouses just take forever. So Dad cooks it up himself. Who needs reservation anyway? Restaurant quality certified Angus beef. Just one more reason to shop at Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly, shop My compliments to the chef. For someone younger. They won't notice you've gained weight. They won't fire you. They won't talk about you behind your back. All they'll ever do is love you. Find the love of your life. Visit Petfinder at ASPCA.org. Twins can be a handful. Buy one, get one free. So when I decided to go back to school, I needed to find one that fit my, our lifestyle. Lakeland College was the perfect place. They offer an easy to manage schedule and counselors to help me anytime. Evening classes at Lakeland don't tie my, <laughs> our life in knots. Ever consider a double major?
And welcome back to South High School. The crowd, which Marty, I thought would be a little bit bigger, considering South's having a heck of a year. Uh, a little bit sparse tonight, but the starting lineup is being introduced for Green Bay East, coached by first-year head coach Rick Rosinski. Green Bay East, 7-4 in conference play, 12-5 overall. They'll start Harry Boyce. He wears number five, a 6'3 guard. Mike Zimmerman is number 13. He's 5'11. 33, J.D. DeVault. He's a 6'3 senior. Brent Naylor wears 34. He's a 6'2 senior. And Chris Beck, wearing number 55, a 6'4 senior. This is a parents, uh, parents evening tonight, is it not, Marty? Right. They're interview Looks like they're introducing the seniors right now, Stu. It's actually the second last home game for South, but they'll be hosting the North-South battle next Saturday, so that's more or less neutral court, so I'm sure that's why they're having the parent ceremony tonight. Boygan South is coached by Dan Koopman. Koop in his sixth season, and I think could join a surprise year, maybe a breakout year for this program. They weren't picked to do much before the year started. I mentioned uh, we did the game the other week with Tom Grams and I, and I mentioned in the opening, I said, you know, when you consider your team was picked at sixth in the conference and you're going to have an opportunity to finish in second, I think Coop's a strong candidate for coach of the year. And Tom retorted, you know, if a coach Desatel goes 14-0 and or wins a conference, you know, what more can you ask for? But, uh, you know, they were more or less expected to win the league. Uh, South, you know, has been a, a surprise team this season have really played well and you got to understand they played the first part of the season with two of their kids out to be one of the starters and uh, Alan Conrad well setting the south starting lineup Tim Stuby number three a 5'8 sophomore it'll be 23 Ryan Lubach a 5'10 senior Jake Wilson a 5'10 senior wears 25 Nick Phelan number 31 a 5'10 senior and Scott Murphy a 6'5 junior wearing number 43 A lot of five tenors. That means fast pace, right? And Green Bay East will get the opening tip. And actually, Scott Longley, the number 11, starting the ball game tonight. Boyce right away with a shot. No good. And rebound. Actually, the loose ball will be controlled by South. South in the white home jerseys, Green Bay East black with red numerals. Boyce well, had over 20 in the first game, Stu, and uh, as you can tell, he's an offensive force. We're going to have to account for him. Malik Lynch. This is Marty, you didn't have any of these starters right. Yeah, I went to the coach. He gave them to me. I'm sorry about that. A couple of guys must not have run their drills correctly. And Lynch wears 22. He's a six-foot senior. Stuby on the inbound. And the guy you wanted to be in, I don't even think, is suited up. Jonathan Moore, so you can see. In the paint. <laughs> Moore in the paint. Father Benjamin. Moore is guarding Phelan. Or pardon me, Boyce is guarding Phelan. There's Murphy in the corner, kicking it out to Lubach. South moving it, Phelan for three, and he nailed it. He picked up a great screen from Jake Wilson to free, uh, free his team, to free himself up. First points of the ball game and South with an early lead. On the cut, Longley. Ooh. And a travel called on back. We could see that one from over here. Our officials tonight are Rick Rodell. He's the tall one. And Jeff Ulig. And they're both from Manitowoc, too. Ooh, that means it's going to be a long night. <laughs> Murphy out front, double team. Gets it to Stuby. Almost stolen away by Malik. Phelan feeling at this time a little short. Murphy saves it. And Lubach called for the travel. Saved by Malik Lynch. Brent Naylor now checks in. Who we originally had slated to start. <laughs> Pass defended well by Lubach, and he comes up with a loose ball, triggers a long pass. Phelan tries to take it inside, blocked from behind by Naylor. East quickly the other way. It was a good move by Phelan, Stu, to get his shoulder in front of the defender, but uh, 
Good jumping ability allowed the defender to block the shot. Boyce with a nice drive and then assist to back south quickly the other way. Murphy is short on the bank shot. Naylor controls for East. Wild pass that time by DeVault. Now he'll try the three-pointer. Hard off the bracket. Murphy with the rebound for South and threw it away. Oh. He's looking for Stubbe to cut up the court and uh, Tim didn't and the ball sailed right out of bounds. <clears throat> Somewhat of a slow start offensively for both teams. 5.43 left first quarter. South three, East two. Lynch has it poked away by Stubbe. Wilson will take it all the way to the scoop. He scores and he's fouled by Naylor. A nice play by uh, Jake Wilson taking it hard to the basket. I was looking for him to dish off, but uh, took it coast to coast for the two. And he's got a shot at a three point play. 13, Mike Zimmerman into the lineup for Green Bay East. Wilson misses on the free throw attempt. Way downtown, Naylor short. There's a fight for the board. They're gonna call a jump ball. So back and I think and South has the arrow, so good break for the Red Wings. Who is that, Wilson in there in the scrum? Wilson or Murphy were down there getting their uh, mitts on the ball and uh, apparently got just enough of it. Didn't look like a jump ball from here. <laughs> Scooby picked up his dribble, now gets it to Phelan. Wraparound pass, Murphy way outside, shot no good. East with the long rebound, this is Zimmerman. I was going to say, Murphy's got the ability to shoot the three-point shot. You know, he's not a slouch. Boys respect. tried to lob it inside, but Beck can't handle it, and South gets the ball back. You're right, Stu. A lot of wasted trips so far. Backdoor cut oh. and missed shot by Wilson. Just got done reading the SI article on Princeton's offense this week. There was an example of it. The backdoor cut. East playing volleyball, Beck finally gets the hoop and it's 5-4 South. Well, that's one thing that could uh, haunt South all game if they can't uh, keep East off the offensive board. Phelan squares up for the three, hard off the rim. Long rebound again, Zimmerman for East. The big man outside, his shot no good. That was Beck with the miss. Lubach controls for South. South will run a motion offense, and sometimes if they get those cutters out on the court, you can set a back cut like happened with uh, Wilson oh, the other trip. Stubbe kicks it out to Phelan. Wide open from behind the arc, and he met it set. Second three-pointer for Phelan. Well, Boyce is, is sagging off of Phelan and helping in the middle of the lane, and though anytime there's a penetration, he's down in there helping, and uh, he might have to stop doing that help defense if they want to stop Nick Phelan. Zimmerman cross court to Naylor. He tried to leave for Beck, stolen. Murphy leading the break, out to Stubbe. Overlays. Beck with the rebound as he falls to the floor, but I think he's all right. You know, that's what happens when you're playing against teams that are very athletic and uh, have the potential to block your shot. I think Stubbe was looking at that and uh, caused him to miss the layup. Zimmerman will drive, bounce pass. South got a hand on it, but Beck converts. Beck has all six East uh, points. I was just going to say that. They got to count for him. Well, in a big game like this, you've got to make layups too, Marty. That's two oh. South opportunities on layups that they came up dry. Yeah, that's uh, 12 points instead of they have the eight. Murphy has it taken away by Beck. He's on his way to the hoop and scores. Tie game at eight. First tie tonight. It's South eight, East eight, Beck eight. Phelan thought about the three, but uh, Naylor had a hand in his face. Well, Beck got his hand in uh, Murphy's back and is going to get charged with a foul. It's 
only the second whistle. Both of them have been on East. First personal against Beck. Anthony Vaughn's number 21 checks in for the Red Wings. There you see uh, first year coach, Rich Ron Rosinski. Josh Zastro in the game, gets the ball into Murphy, oh, comes up short one. on a five footer, got his own rebound. In traffic, clears people out, goes to the hole, it's blocked. Loose ball, controlled by East. Nice pass from Boyce to Zimmerman, but Zimmerman shot hard off the bracket. East gets the offensive board. Oy, oy, oy. Three easy shots not going down for the Red Wings. Less than two minutes left, first quarter. You hope that later in the game those uh, easy misses don't uh, come back to uh, haunt them. Luke Olson wide open, but hit nothing but glass that time. This is Zastro, also into the game for South. Anthony Vaughns, Phelan's three-pointer, hits the wires up above the backboard, and that will be out of bounds to Green Bay East. Edmir Ibisevic checks in for Dan Koopman in Sheboygan South, wearing 35. He's a 6'5 junior, one of the fun names in the Valley. He's a, a big guy, not necessarily a real tall guy, but he uh, provides that defensive presence underneath and hopefully can help rectify the rebounding problem. Double team on Boyce, kicks it out to Zimmerman. A little two-man passing game there, Marty. I think South is playing a pretty good defensive game, actually, except for the rebounding part of it. East with another crack at it and comes up way short. That was DeVault on the three-point attempt. Vaughn's into the front court. Phelan trying to drive. Kicks it back out to Vaughn's, a three-pointer, and he notched it. A nice play by Nick Phelan to draw the defense in and then kick it out to his buddy, Anthony Vaughn's. Little hanging move and then getting his own rebound. DeVault and scores. Against pressure, DeVault, I believe, commits the foul. It's the third team foul on East. South's done it from long range. Nine of their 11 points coming from behind the arc here in the quarter. Well, they should have three baskets in the paint, but they don't. Beck comes back for East. Also into the lineup for the Red Devils is Lou Yang, number 23. He's a 5'8 sophomore. Thirty seconds left, first quarter. Lou is spelled L-U-E. But not pronounced Lou-E. Nope. Under 20 seconds in the quarter, South playing for one. Visevic thought about it. And I made a good choice. Vaughn's at 10 seconds and he's fouled before the shot. Going to be uh, DeVault, second fall, I believe, Stu. Oh, well, nope, calling Mike Zimmerman. Yeah, Zimmerman. Fourth team foul on East South is going to go through the quarter without a foul, it looks like, Marty. Don't see that. <laughs> Stuby brings it in. Zastro, eight seconds. You got time, you got time. Stuby from a uh, long range, no good. Ball still loose, East has it, and that's the end of the quarter. So Sheboygan South, after one, leads Green Bay East 11-10. Properly inflating my tires burns less fuel and saves me money on gas. Yeah, I'm saving Mother Nature from pollution, but more importantly, she saved me 11 bucks. Oh! Environmental events, get green. By keeping my car regularly tuned, I save money on gas and repairs. That also means cleaner air. You know, feels good to help save the cash planet. Environmental events, get green. For more tips, go to getgreen.com. Kids aren't afraid of other kids. Or people with different color skin. That's because kids know there are other things. Worse things. Bigger things to be afraid of. Like monsters from outer space. Remember, friends come in all colors.
Back at South High School, about ready to start the second quarter, and it's been a case of the outsides for Sheboygan South and the insides for Green Bay East. That's for sure, and uh, you gotta be able to get those uh, bunny shots because that outside shot isn't always gonna be going down for you. Uh, did in the first quarter quite well. Defense I thought was pretty good. Zimmerman on the drive, and this will be the first, no, and a turnover. I didn't South see the call, three yeah. seconds? Uh, yeah, I don't know. We get a good shot of Dan Koopman. Looking pretty dapper tonight. Dapper Dan. <laughs> it's one of the all the great all-star high school games is the Dapper Dan Classic. Stubby got Stubie fouled, fouled after yep. the shot and no call. South will get it out of bounds. Oh, well, it could have been three free throws. You were right on top of that one, Marty. Caught that with my left eye. The right eye was following the ball. Your left eye dominant? Yeah. <laughs> Murphy gathers in the inbounds. Give and go to Phelan. Oh. Tried the reverse layup. Gets his own rebound. Gives to Murphy. Shot by Lubach, no good. And East controls the rebound. So South gets a couple shots that time. And East throws it away. Some good action underneath the basket right down here by us. Unfortunately, South unable to come away with any points. Brett Naylor comes back in the lineup for East. Josh Zastro checks in for South. So it's Zastro, Lubach, Murphy, Phelan, and Stubbe. Stubbe has the ball, goes to Murphy. Zastro for three. Nothing but net. One thing that uh, South is doing is they're spreading the scoring around, Stu. That's the fourth different player that scored and the third different player that's hit a three. And uh, did somebody just dribble the ball on the line? Yes. <laughs> I had my head down looking at my paper. So another East turnover in South with a four point lead and a chance to add to it right here. Phelan will trigger the inbound. Oh, they got the lob open. Oh, they had it. Beck didn't have any weak side help. Murphy posting inside. Oh, Murphy couldn't handle the pass. It's a little bit off the mark. Olsen with the ball and another turnover by the Red Devils. You keeping track of those? No, I should, but uh, most of them are unforced. I mean, those are just bad passes. Zastro wide open underneath and gets the easy one. That's got to drive a coach crazy, and uh, it does. He's calling his troops over. They're just not playing smart basketball now. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. Well, how many turnovers do you think we ought to give them right now? I just marked I them down. Give them 10. <laughs> I think Take five at least. Well, it's more than that, Marty. Five in this quarter. We'll give them six. Six so far. I think it's 10. <laughs> well, we don't want to be unfair you, about you it. You just don't want to run out of ink. That's I got two lines. I got I got room for uh, fifth, 30 turnovers. In case you're just joining us, this is the guru, Mike Martin. I'm Stu Hoppensperger. It's 16-10. 6.34 left here in the first half, and Sheboygan South has moved out in front of Green Bay East. Now, from talking while we were off camera, this uh, you might one more game in your uh, in your craw this year? That Northeast game on the 20th? I've got at least one and probably a tournament game, Marty. Okay, good. I'd like to see it be a north-south rematch, possibly. And that would probably be at one of the high schools. Yes, you're, you are correct, sir. Mark that turnover down. That's unofficially 11. number seven. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should plug it right now, next Saturday, live from the Armory. It'll be north and south, part two. They were announcing, they announced the schedule of when the games are. I didn't get the freshman games, but the JVs, the girls will start at one o'clock. The boys will start about 2.30. And then the varsity games, six o'clock, the girls start and following them will be the boys, seven, about 7.45. And the way it looks, since you won't be there, you'll be in the warm climes of Los Angeles, I believe you said. Anyway, it'll be uh, Chris Wright and myself. Right now, it's been the very wet climbs of Los Angeles. They have mudslides going on there. Wilson got away with the travel. Stuby on the drive, in and out. Back controls the rebound, and there's the first foul of the evening against South Murphy. 
nailed. Let's see, the Red Wings went 10 minutes and one second without a personal foul here at the start of the ball game. And it wasn't even a good one. That could be a record. <laughs> a little bit of the hip. Well, no, no, that's a little subjective on your part. I mean, there may have been some other fouls. They just weren't called. That were whistled. You are correct, sir. <clears throat> Very picky tonight, Marty. Not used to working with you. I've got a feeling we're going to hear a story from the 60s before the night's well, over. Well, Boyce with a nice pass inside to a uh, Yeah. And that's their first points of the second quarter. The vault has four. Only two East players have scored thus far. And Wilson wide open nails the jumper. 18-12. He's getting a little offensive tonight. There you see Kayla Golding in the middle. I should have perhaps yelled boom since the score is 18-12. So you dialed that right in, Marty. Hey, are there any words to that song? Oh, I another so. turtle is like Nailer to Boyce on the drive and Boyce's first points of the night. A bad turnover. I mean, not that any turnover is uh, good, but when you get a turnover that leads directly to points. Zastro does a good job of controlling that pass. Wilson right corner. Lob into Murphy, double team. Now he'll take it to the hoop. No basket, but a foul I think will go against the vault. His second. And that's the seventh team fall on East, which means any fall after by East will send South to the line. After this one. Actually, he should be shooting right now. I think it's only their sixth, Marty. Two, four, five, six. He must have rung up that seventh one a little bit early. Now they're going to add him. I have six on my sheet. And it is an inbound. Stuby will throw in the pass. Lubach. Head nice fake. Move. Scores. Lubach got the defense off the ground and uh, put it up and in. His first points of the night. Boyce almost looked like a lob pass rather than a shot. Yeah, that wasn't a very good shot attempt, I don't think. Phelan double teamed. And uh, I think they called about the fourth pack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, easily the fourth one. Might even been more. Now, Phelan's been a pretty steady free throw shooter, and uh, he's going to have to be that right now, Stu, because it's uh, old fashioned one and one. Naylor with his second, and East has got a couple of key players that are close to being in foul trouble here, both all, back to Vault and Naylor, all with two personals right now. Phelan looking for his eighth point. Gets it in South with their largest lead at 22 to 14. You know, it looks like East has a lot of ability. It's just they turn the ball over so much. Stuby on the breakout scores and it's a 10 point South lead. Oh, nice, nice use of the body by Tim Stubbe to protect the ball as he shot that layup. Naylor drives into Murphy, but I think they're going to call a foul before the shot. I think they're going to get Nick Phelan's too. His first personal, only the second team foul against the Red Wings. Three fifty three left first oh, half of play big time illegal screen not called Malik Lynch all over Stuby trying to keep him off a of loop and a travel on Yang. East offense looks very disorganized right now. 
they do. And, and a lot it, of stand and watch. Well, I see there's there's some good ability out there. It's just they turn the ball over so much, and they, you're right, they don't seem in sync on offense. Scooby right side, he's guarded by Yang. Now Scott you, Murphy almost threw that one away for a layup. It's interesting to watch inside right now. There's like no one in the paint. No one, look well, at that. <clears throat> well, what South will do is they'll spread the floor and like I mentioned before, try to get back cutters going to the hoop. Once they get it to a wing, now you see Murphy's uh, posting up inside. Lubach with the pull up, gets it out to Stubbe. His shot no good. Vaughn's almost with an offensive board, but he springs it the other way. Naylor scores and a block is gonna be called on Phelan. Boy, he, he made a great effort to try and get himself established, but he never really quite did that. And uh, that's Nick's second fall, that's a bad one. You see it again, here he is. He's sliding, that, I think that was a good call. It wouldn't have been contact had he not moved over. I think the offensive player would have got around him. Ball comes at 2.58 of the remaining in the half. Oh, she's pretty interested in tonight's game. <laughs> the big yawn. Some of the South High cheering section right there. Naylor finishes the three-point play, making the free throw, and it's 24-17. South with the lead in the basketball. Uh, Phelan came out to Stu after picking up that second foul. Vaughn's for three, no good. Boyce kept it alive and Naylor controls the board for East. A good no call there by the official. The vault splits the defense and scores for the Red Devils. Maybe it would have been better if he called the foul. <laughs> allowed East to run the floor and score, and there you see the score. South's gonna take a 30 second timeout. 24-19. It's been one of those games, Marty, where it's just sort of moving along, but nothing real exciting. No, nothing real exciting. You know, the, going up and down the court every once in a while, you get a breakout for a layup, and uh, but uh, a lot of wasted trips, you know, especially by the East team. And the one thing that's uh, bailing them out somewhat, Stu, I think, is uh, their defense on the half court is uh, causing some problems for the Red Wings. It's like a 2-2-1 two, two, kind of press. Stubbe with no problem takes it all the way to the hole but misses the layup. Kibisevic, no good on the reload. And off an East player, so it stays on the south end of the floor. Uh, Boyce knocked that one away from uh, Zastro. And one could argue if he knocked it away from Zastro on the inside position, it could have been a over the back fall. Zastro on the drive. Nice. Murphy feed. for an easy two. Great pass by Josh Zastro. Murphy's first points. That should be on Boyce, but they're gonna, I think they're gonna get Wilson. I if we can get a shot of that, Scott, but if you watch number five, when he goes down on the low post, he uh, takes Wilson and just throws him to the side. Wilson's first personal. Only four team fouls against South. Either Wilson is smaller than 5'10", or Boyce is bigger than 6'3", Marty, one or the other. Yeah, I agree with you on, on both counts. <laughs> Zimmerman tries the left side, was blocked, but they'll call a foul with the body on South. I don't know, there you can see, you can see Boyce underneath take Wilson and throw him to the side. Good replay, Scott. Lubach charged with that foul, and it'll be a two-shot foul for Zimmerman. And Zimmy missing the first one. He'll get one more.
Malik Lynch back in for East. Murphy and uh, Zastro are two key guys on this free throw. You got to get your man and box him out. Don't let him get the rebound. Zimmerman missed both, and so South with a chance to increase their seven point lead. You see, they open up the lane, Stu, and they want to get cutters like Wilson going through for uh, easy baskets. Also, when you get that opening, you know, if you get it on the wing and you can take your uh, defender one on one, you can do what Zastro did. You know, take him to the hoop, maybe dish off. Murphy. Oh. Oh, my. Wow. That was not a good call. Wow, wow. Murphy wow, lowered wow. the shoulder. I'll, I'll grant you that, but uh, he got the yeah. shoulder in front of the defender and got yeah. by him. Never touched anybody. We had the perfect angle on that one. Yes, we did. And that's his second foul, and Admiral come in for uh, the final 123. That's it, force him way up the court. This is Boyce, Harry Boyce with the basketball. He's, he's been held in check here in the first half. And a three-point bomb hit by Zimmerman. That was a bomb. South's lead is down to four with just under a minute. It's the first three of the night for the Red Devils. Bisovic inside. Nice pass to Zastro for an easy one. And again, good teamwork by the Red Wings. Admir keeping his head up once he uh, was stopped on his penetration move. 30 seconds left in the half. 28-22 south over east. Looks like the Red Devils will play for once. Astro just about had a layup. Well, Wilson doing the smart thing. Just play back. You got the lead. And the clock ticks down to 10 seconds. Boys for three. Tip over the top oh. and good by DeVault. And a long bomb by Scooby won't count, and that's the end of the first half. So Sheboygan South leads Green Bay East at halftime, 28-24. I build schools. I battle injustice. I eradicate landmines. I feed the hungry. I shape international policy. I protect children. I fight for human rights. I find homes for refugees. I dig wells. I develop economies. I teach people to read. I influence the president. I heal the sick. I comfort the grieving. I make the world better. I make a difference. I change the world, so can you. <laughs> I'm Bob McGrath. And I'm Big Bird. And we love to make music. Music can help kids learn. Did you know that making music, any music... Like Twinkle Twinkle? All uh, right, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star can help your child with language, reading, and even math. And it's lots of fun, too. To find out how children learn and grow with music, visit www.amc-music.org. And you'll see... Music works wonders. Yeah, it sure does. Athletic competition is all about potential. The opportunity to look inside yourself, to challenge yourself, to be better than you ever dreamed imaginable. Junior achievement is also about dreams and the potential to make those dreams come true. Jay's free enterprise education programs help kids say, I can, when everything around them says, you can. Junior achievement, let their potential be your inspiration. I love the challenge of computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy to manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part.
You know, we sing for millions of girls, but helping out in schools, that's the real deal, baby. I know our love can multiply. I'm the cute one, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever been backstage before? Cause you're the exit. I think you'll find that gravity is key in what I do. Once was one, but now we're two. I'm sitting at a <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't matter who you are, or what you drive, or where you live. You have the power to give someone the greatest gift in the world, life. Make the decision to be an organ donor. Make the decision to donate life. Get a job. It's a giraffe! I don't see it. The less art kids get, the more it shows. Are yours getting enough? Art. Ask for more. Americansforthearts.org And welcome back to South High School. Just about ready to start the second half. I'm Stu Hoffensperger, with me Mike Martin. And Marty, uh, South looked like they were about ready to pull away at 10 point lead and a uh, couple of miscues and uh, Green Bay Aces right back in it. Uh, that's exactly what happened. Uh, if, if you look at the way South has been scoring their points, they're making some real nice penetration, some good pitch and those kinds of things. There's continuity to their offense, which is really nice. Uh, on the other side, you look at East offense, it really doesn't seem to be gelling very good. However, they're sticking around and I think part of that is they do play pretty good defense. And uh, if it weren't for the East turnovers, which have been numerous in the first half, South may not have this lead. Well, Chris Beck and uh, J.D. DeVault led Green Bay East with eight points each in the first half as they scored 24. And maybe more importantly, they held Harry Boyce to just a field goal. He's the guy that really hurt him the first time they played. He didn't get many good looks either. I mean, it isn't like he was missing many shots. He didn't, he didn't get any shots for the most part. And uh, they've done a good job with him. I know uh, Jake Wilson was assigned to him and did a real nice job. Uh, it hurt South, and I'm surprised they, they, I shouldn't say surprised, but they hung in there without uh, Murphy on the floor the last two minutes and without uh, Phelan on the floor the last two minutes and uh, hung on to that lead. Nick Phelan led South with eight. Josh Zastro added seven. It was Jake Wilson with four. Anthony Vaughn did a big three off the bench. Murphy, Lubach, and Stubbe each with a basket, and that brings us to a 28-24 ball game at halftime. South with the first possession here in the second half. Before we get too far in the second half, Stu, I want to mention about the uh, dance team. You saw them at halftime. They won state competition in the Funk Division out of 19 teams. Todd Williams is their coach, and uh, you'll be able to see him again at the Armory live. And while you were doing all that, Murphy scored inside and was fouled, and so South draws first blood here in the second half. And a quick foul on Beck, his third. That's uh, pivotal. Could be. Murphy, his second field goal of the night, and drains the free throw, so it's 31-24. It's only the fourth free throw by the Red Wings. They've hit on three of them. East, on the other hand, is only one out of three free throws so far. Moist out front, guarded by Wilson. Naylor. Naylor for three. Murphy controls the board. Boy, oh, doesn't East just seem no, so nonchalant with those three-point attempts? Yeah, you're absolutely right. The Boyce is, uh, you know, the most casual about it. Uh, what I was noticing on that rebound by Murphy, it looked like Beck was very close to uh, going over the back. Murphy turns it over on the dribble. Here comes East. That was one of the few times, Stu, where I thought there was a little bit too much one-on-one -on -one move and uh, Murphy losing the ball on that. DeVault was wide open underneath and he scores. 10 points for DeVault. East back within five. Oh, Lubach was wide open and Phelan overthrew the pass. Well, he was wide open when he would have caught it, but uh, Boyce was coming over. It would have, you know, he'd had to make a, make a nice move to get the shot off. 
But uh, you're right, you gotta get those guys when they're open underneath the basket. Boyce into the front court with the high dribble. Back in the lane and a foul on the drive. Murphy will pick up his third personal. Worked his way inside and scores easy two, and just like that, East back within three. Well, the defense lost track of him, and you can't lose track of a guy like Boyce. Murphy right side, now Wilson on the cut. Phelan splits the defenders in a blocking foul called against Naylor. He doesn't like the call, and neither does his coach. Just underway, third quarter from South High School. Stu Hoffensberger along with the guru, Mike Martin. Marty will be uh, switching seats next Saturday. I think he's looking forward to getting back in that play-by-play play This is hard not chair. to talk more. <laughs> I feel a little bit like Steve Stone that year when Harry Carey was sick and he had all those guest announcers come up in the booth. Because I've had six different partners this year. <laughs> And all of them have done a really nice job. Phelan rolls in the second free throw nine now for him and it's 32-28 South. A good help by Murphy on the defense. Back 10 foot pull up, hard off the rim. Phelan rebound for South. Stuby for three, nets it. Good movement to the ball. Phelan had it on top, swung it back to the left, and then uh, Wilson got it right down in the corner to the open Tim Stuby. Stuby has five, and five three-point baskets so far for the Red Wings. I think that might go on Murphy. If it is, it's gonna be his fourth. It is Murphy, his fourth, and so that's going to be a problem for the Red Wings. Their big 6 5 pivot man. It looks like Travis Young is going to get the call. Number 33, his first appearance of the night. South gives up about four inches on that substitution. And a lot of offense. Naylor had it knocked away by Zastro. Phelan comes up with it, but Boyce steals it back. Fouled from behind, but before the shot. So Boyce's basket won't count. Zastro will pick up the personal. And that's a good foul. It's uh, unfortunate that South wasn't able to convert on the fast break because they had numbers if they could have got the ball down the floor. Now this is the maneuver that got Boyce open underneath before, but not this time. Naylor out front. And threw the ball into the backcourt, and that's, where's the turnover? Oh, wow. Wow, there's the turnover. <laughs> that's a miss by the ref right there. That should have been an over and back violation. Stuby way outside, and he's fouled after the shot. Well, they saw it that time. I wonder if, uh, Coach Koopman or Stuby said something because he was blatantly fouled in the first half. There was no call. This one, a little more ticky tack if you look at it, because Stuby never went down. But uh, he'll get three free throws. I think they're going to call it after the shot, too, Marty. So I don't think he's going to get three. We'll take it anyway. Third team foul against Green Bay East. Zimmerman is out of the lineup, and Luke Olson back in for the Red Devils. Tell you that Kayla Golden's all stealing the camera time. Young to Stuby. Stuby, good quickness, drives the baseline, kicks it out to Phelan. Phelan turns, then gives to Stuby. Almost got caught in the air that time, Murray. I was going to say, there you can see that height advantage by Harry Boyce is causing problems for Phelan. And actually, uh, Olsen is uh, taller than Stuby. It's hard for him to get his shot off unless he's open. 
Zastro way outside. Now Phelan dribbles it off his foot, but Zastro gets it back. I thought it was a pretty good pass, actually. <laughs> 4.15 to play, third quarter. South with the ball and a seven-point lead. Stuby, three-pointer won't go. DeVault controlled the board for East. This is Olsen, boys, 15-footer. Hard off the bracket. Beck got the board and Young called for the foul. Ball just didn't bounce South's way that time. It bounced off the rim. They had a couple guys that looked to be in position, but uh, the ball was just a little bit out of their reach. With Misovic in the ball game. And Young goes out. Lynch triggering the inbounds play. Uh, good defense by Admir. Olsen, shot hard off the bracket. Phelan controlled, behind the back dribble. God, it's just been a slow game, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, it looked like where's the break on that one, and uh, you know, it just didn't happen. It's been a defensive battle, no doubt about it. Phelan shot in and out. Zastro came up oh, with the rebound. Great play by Josh Zastro. I thought Stuby was going to let that one fly, Marty. Phelan, 10 footer. Oh. Good and foul. <laughs> wow. Back called for his third. Phelan with 11, and for the second time, I oh know that was Murphy that earned the three-point play the hard way. Here you see it again. Watch this. <laughs> this is good. Whoa. <laughs> Friendly bones. He got fouled twice. He was dragging Boyce's <laughs> hand, who was trying to pull his shirt out. So <laughs> Phelan gets the three-point play, and South back out in front, 38-28. 12 points now for Nick Phelan. And he's the guy that's going to have to show up next Saturday, Marty. They, uh, North put the clamps on him the first time those two teams met. And uh, they're going to have to find a way to get him loose and, and going on uh, Saturday night, a week from tomorrow. George Washington's birthday. Oh. Don't chop down any cherry trees, all right? Oh, no, not me. Back, 12-footer. No good. Offensive board. The vault. He's blocked and a jump ball called. Josh Zastro again uh, having a big part in the South's success. That time helping Admir Imisovic block a shot. Stay down, Admir. DeVault couldn't handle the entry pass, and South picks off the ball. That's a good strategy right there, Zastro. Get the ball over to Stubbe. Get the offense in gear. Oh, Wilson's pass was knocked away, but the ref helps out South. Yeah, that was a break. I'm sure you mentioned this before, Stu, but uh, with this 10-point lead, that's the largest lead South has had in the ball game. Tied them for a uh, earlier lead. Oh, nice back cut. And now it's a 12-point lead as Zastro converts. Nine for Zastro, his first points in the second half. You notice the baskets are coming off the offensive set. They're running their uh, motion offense really well today. And a steal, Zastro, and they're going to call body foul, I think, on Abisovic. Yeah, oh, man. Almost was a 14-point lead. Yeah, and when you watch East play, you know, it's a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. Get the ball, dribble around, look for your opening. You don't get it, pass it out. The next guy, you know, takes his turn. Bisovic, his first personal. Fifteen fall already by the Red Wings. 
Yang back in the game will take the shot. No good, and a foul is going to be called after the shot. I think Vaughn's. Yeah, that was not a good foul. I mean, you got a guy on the floor who's not a good shooter, and uh, you close on him, and then you foul him. Apparently that happened after the shot also. And there is a foul on Abisovic. And Vaughn would have got his second if they wouldn't have called it on Edmure. And South, who did not commit 17 fouls in the first half, already has that many with 146 to go here in the third quarter. We're going to have to uh, cherish every possession here, Stu, because with East shooting as many free throws as they probably will the rest of the half, and with uh, Murphy out, you know, this is going to be a tough road even with a 12-point lead. I think this is another 30-second timeout, or is it a full? Full timeout. All right, we'll take a break. 146 to play. Third quarter at South by 12. Take a deep breath. It's all going to be fine. Come on, take a deep breath. Keep on breathing. There you, there you see, see the Tim scoreboard. McMahon. And who? Tim McMunn on the floor camera. Right, Brian I'm seeing Andrews. the scoreboard. You were seeing Tim. Boygan South with a 12 point lead. Green Bay East had cut the advantage to just three. and. Until that free throw by Naylor, the Red Wings had a nine-point run going. Naylor hits two there, and it's 40-30 south. Now, well, Coach not happy with uh, DeVault. Made free throw. He's running back down the floor, and he wants the press set up. 146 to play. I think the scoreboard is wrong. There we go. They just corrected it. Bounce pass, and triple team gets a steal. Boyce, oh, and I thought that might be a travel, but DeVault scores the hoop. Well, a little break there. Oh, and uh, South not having pass. trouble handling the press. Aye, aye, aye. You know, with all the short guys, you know, they're playing out there basically with four guards. Uh, they should be able to handle us. They had the right idea. You break the press with a pass, but they've got to be good crisp passes. And uh, you got a little errant on the first one. And <laughs> yeah. That just led to more. It's going to say all three of them were not very good. East within eight. Boyce tries the long bomb and hits the three. Ah, that was and another bad. turnover. Zastro knocks it loose, and Stubbe comes up with it. Dribbles through a double team and a foul on Boyce. Well, I think the tempo's picked up, Marty. <laughs> That's not a good thing for South. You know, they want to keep it uh, as it has been, a little bit slower paced game, make it a half court game. Another 10 point, 12 point lead is down to five and there's still a minute seven left in the third. Seven points in the last 42 seconds for Green Bay East. One minute to go, third quarter. Wilson gives to Zastro, he'll bring it back up front. You can just see East intensity is picked up. Oh, Zastro breaks free. A great cut and a real nice pass by Nick Phelan. Zastro with 11. This is Olsen left side. He'll that's, bring it back out front. That's a big Benny when you get 11 points off the bench, Stu. Less than 30 seconds to go in the quarter. Ryan Lubach and uh, Josh Zastro have kind of been a tag team partnership in terms of that fifth starting spot for South. Looks like Geist will just take one more shot. No, they won't. Boyce didn't get the signal. Loose ball. Gavalt. No good. Zastro clears the rebound. Still six seconds. Double teamed. Stubbe with two. Then throws it up and not even close. So Sheboygan South leads Green Bay East after three quarters, 42-35. We'll call that a pass.
certified Angus beef from Piggly Wiggly. They have like big juicy steaks. T-bone for the house. But steakhouses just take forever. So Dad cooks it up himself. Who needs reservation anyway? Restaurant quality certified Angus beef. Just one more reason to shop at Piggly Wiggly. My compliments to the chef. This is the story about a group of kids who volunteer. Do something nice for someone. We fixed stuff. Did some art projects with the kids. We fixed up this house. We worked in the woods. Cleaned up the park. Did something for the planet. We just did it. No other reason. And you know what? It was great. At first, they didn't know each other. Well, that didn't last long. This guy is really funny. We these are my new friends. Are you into it? Call 4-H or check out our website at areyouintoit.com. There you see some of the uh, South High crowd saying, let's get it going, guys. One quarter to, go to play. Sheboygan South is led from the opening gun here. Nick Phelan hit a three-point bomb, and they have not trailed in this ballgame. They go into the fourth quarter, leading 42-35. I can remember when I was coaching uh, JV basketball at Chilton, and uh, we had a game just like this. We trailed the entire game. And uh, we had a shot with about two seconds left from half court. If we'd have made it, we'd have been up by one after the buzzer. Well, Abisovic was called for a blocking foul. His third personal. And uh, nine seconds into the fourth quarter, East is at the line. It'll be Lou Yang with free throws. There you see the sophomore. Lou is looking for his uh, first points of the night. Call Naylor over the back, I think. Yep, and that's going to be his fourth if it is. I actually thought he went up pretty straight that time. It looks like a, a 1 2 1 1 press, to and, and something like this, you want to get it up the sideline if you can. Oh, not there. East saves it, and an easy layup. The vault. South needs an answer to this press. Wilson double teamed. And they're going to call a block on Yang. And that's uh, seventh team foul, I think, against East. So bonus free throws coming up for Jake Wilson. We might have a free throw marathon here, Marty. Well, you know how it is sometimes? I mean, you've played softball. You, you get up there, and it just looks like there's gaps all over the place. Well, I think South is having the opposite. You know, they look out there and where is there an opening to get the ball? Uh, just East just is so quick, you know, and they're all over the court. Weak side. Well, it's hard to get it. They tried that cross quarter. It was picked off back in the, towards the end of the third quarter. And uh, good save by Stubbe. Oh, and... Coach Rosinski not he, happy with that call. He didn't think so. No. We had a real bad angle on uh, that particular play. You know, it looked good from uh, from our vantage point. Seven and a half minutes to go. Stubby on the drive. A little bit of a wild pass. Boyce knocked it away. Well, Phelan was open, but uh, just like you called, to uh, Boyce able to get a hand up and knock it out of bounds. It may have been the South's advantage. That would have been tough to handle that pass. Yep, you're absolutely right. Bring it right back. Boyce knocks the ball loose. Oh, man, life. That is, that is <clears throat> a bad call. That's worse than bad. And that's twice now they've got the over and back wrong. and. Uh, Remember how I used to think about going to the head off with the headset? <laughs> well, we're not going to do that. There you see the ball tipped away. He runs back and gets it, and uh, you can see the official calling over and back. And the official is saying that he pulled the ball away and uh, lost it. Well, it's a 30-second timeout, and Coop, you're a better man than I. <laughs> 
I would not have accepted that explanation. I don't think he does either, but. Well, he doesn't accept. I mean, you've got you, a five you point it, lead, you don't you agree with it. Keep your head in the game. Yep. And, it, you know, that's a really an important point, Stu, you know, as a coach. You go off on an official in a situation like this, all of a sudden the kids start to lose their focus. You know, you question it and then you move on and, uh, you know, make sure the, the guys, the team, keeps their focus on the game, not on an official's call. But we have had some interesting ones tonight. Plenty Most of, of them good. I think they got over half right. Plenty of missed ones. This is right. Boyce. Uh, All one-on-one. -on -one. All one-on-one. -on -one. Zimmerman walk. When a pass reception is always, almost always followed by a dribble, you're not running good offense. And this time South breaks the press. Well, they're really extending their defense way out on the court. Vault knocked away the backdoor pass for Zastro and South keeps the ball 646 to play. I know I mentioned this earlier in the year, Stu, when uh, we saw Tim Stubbe. I said, you know, he's the kind of player that can make pressure obsolete, and uh, he's having trouble doing that tonight. East is uh, every bit as quick as he is. Wilson lost his balance, and it's a turnover on the break. Boyce gives it back to Naylor, and it's a three point game. Might have, been, uh, might have been a good idea to call a timeout as he's falling backwards. And a 12 point lead is now down to three. Zimmerman got called for his third. And again, free throws and South better hit some of those free throws. Already got one missed uh, bonus attempt. That was by Wilson. I have him five for eight on the night. Does that uh, jive with you? Scooby in and out, but Zastro big rebound. Murphy, Scooby in the corner. He'll drive. Gives to Murphy. Easy two. Murphy with seven tonight. And it's a five point south lead. Boy, Olsen did a nice job to gather in that pass for East. I was going to say, I've got him five for nine, which would coincide with what you have. That's Zulz. And a turnover by the Red Devils. South with, uh, pardon me, Tim Stubbe with uh, good hands, knocked it off the body of Zimmerman. Bring it up. Under six minutes to play. To be guarded by Zimmerman. And foul called on Zimmerman. Ooh. We have to hesitate now on every call because I'm <laughs> not never sure know. what they're going uh, to. He had a little bit of a high you know, trouble there. You know I, was my, I was expecting a travel. Expect, yeah, I was, well, actually, I thought maybe a five second call or something. Well, Stubby with another chance. At the old fashioned one and one, he's got to get this one to get an attempt at the second. And that's it. All free throws will be big from here on in. Six out of ten for the Red Wings tonight. Scooby hits both. He has seven. South's lead is seven. 46-39. Boyce, nice give to Olsen, another bunny. And two nice passes by Harry Boyce. Stubbe breaks the pressure, but then Murphy can't handle the pass. Boyce with a dunk. And a comfortable dunk, too. I mean, he didn't have to work real hard to get up there to dunk that one. Full timeout for Sheboygan South. 5-11 to play. The Red Wings by three. Before you know it, she talks. Before you know it, she walks. Before you know it, she knows you. Before you know it, she has a heart. 
Before you know you're pregnant, when your baby's no bigger than a grain of rice, before she's a twinkle in your eye, that's when you need to take folic acid every day. After that, it's too late to prevent some serious birth defects. Folic acid now, before you know it. We were just commenting about uh, the pressure that East is applying is causing a lot of problems for the Red Wings, you know. Back here, trying to break the press, we're on the uh, east side now. And uh, and then even when they get it on the half court, you know, making good passes and uh, running their offense. Well, Marty, it's been a very long two minutes and 49 seconds. It's going to be a long 5 and 5-11, too. <laughs> First half went relatively quickly. Not a lot of fouls, not a lot of scoring. A whole lot of turnovers. Sheboygan South clinging to a three-point lead, trying to assure themselves of a second-place finish in this year's Fox River Valley Conference race. The win here tonight does that. Phelan from downtown, and he got it. That's just what the doctor ordered. And uh, the defense didn't come up on Nick that time, and uh, they got to play uh, smarter, smarter than that if they want to win this ball game. 15 for Phelan, just about at his average. Zimmerman drives, splits the defense, short on the layup, and a putback by DeVault. Now, not very good defense that time by Tim Stubbe allowing the uh, Zimmerman to get down the middle of the lane. I'll play better defense than that. 4.26 to play at South 49, East 45. Murphy left side, pass taken away by Olsen. Here comes another dunk. That one with a little more authority, Marty. Yep. Boyce has 11. And Scooby dribbles it right to Boyce. And a third dunk. And we're tied at 49, and another timeout for Sheboygan South. Full timeout, two stew. 404 to play. We're all tied. We'll be back. What does being involved really mean? Is it making grilled cheese sandwiches for a sleepover? Staying for the curtain call at the talent show? Or learning the names of their favorite bands? Believe it or not, right now, there are parents just like you out there talking about things like this. From school to home, from friends to futures. And we'd like you to be a part of it. National PTA, every child, one voice. Because he was diagnosed with cancer as a baby. Because she was told she would not live to be nine. Because she should have a chance to grow up. Each year, thousands of children learn they have cancer or another deadly disease. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital needs your help to research cures and treat these children, regardless of their parents' ability to pay, because they deserve to dream. Call now to learn more about St. Jude's life-saving work. Well, it is not the NBA dunk contest, but I'll tell you what, uh, Harry Boyce has he had might, three dunks in about the last 45 seconds. He might win the Fox River Valley dunk contest. Hands down, I'm thinking, Marty. South breaks the pressure this time. It's only the second time in this ball game that the score has been tied. You know, we were talking about Stubbe trying to break the press, and there he and has it turned taken over by Zimmerman. Naylor inside for Olsen. Did a great job of handling that pass. East has never led in this game. DeVault, spin move, bank shot. They do now, 51-49. Well, very nice move by JD. And <clears throat> foul from behind on DeVault, and South needs to pass and not dribble against his press. Well, they came out of the timeout with a good game plan. Stubbe got the ball right to Wilson in the middle, right at about center court. And uh, once you got it in the middle of the floor, you're able to break it. And I was going to mention before, you know, we were talking off air, you know, Stubbe probably has a lot of success dribbling through this kind of pressure, or I should say through pressure, but not this kind of pressure. And uh, he has to adapt. 
missed his first free throw. You need to remember Stubbe only a sophomore. Well, Although by basketball this time terms, of the year, he's a junior. Even though he's technically a sophomore in high school, you know, with the experience that he's had, 17, almost his 18th game under his belt. East by two, their first lead, and they have the ball. Naylor drive leaves for DeVault. Blocked from behind by Zastro. Stubbe throws it away. Wow. I don't know where that fall was. It wasn't a very good play by uh, Tim Stubbe. A little out of control. Whoa. South gets a break. So that's five on Naylor. And you're right, Marty. That was, uh, there had to be something away from the play. I would guess. I wonder if we could have a replay of that. I don't know. <laughs> Scott's been pretty good on those replays tonight. Well, you'll have a little bit of a chance to cue it up with uh, this fifth foul on Naylor. South down two, and they haven't been real steady on the line. Here we go. There Watch up, Murphy. Yeah, there you oh. can see. That was a good call, actually. Pushing Murphy in the back. <laughs> Murphy hits a big free throw there. His eighth point. And ended a six-point run. Oh! Astro tried to keep it alive, but Olsen controls. 51-50, East leads. They have the ball, under three minutes to play. Boyce, double team, gets up the shot, no good. Offensive board rolls out, and DeVault fouls from behind. Uh, not a good foul by J.D. DeVault. Sometimes you just gotta back off a little bit, but uh, in defense of, of the foul, you know, they've had so much success uh, going after it that it's understandable why he might do that. Well, Zastro's had a real nice game tonight, Stu. He's gonna have to make some free throws. I thought you're only supposed to do that when the other team is shooting, not your own. That's a, that's a make charm right oh, there. Oh, okay, a make charm. Didn't work. Wow. Zastro will get another one. South has missed four of their last five. You know, the line. in other games that I've been here, they have not been a real solid free throw shooting team. You get Phelan on the line, he's pretty steady. But, uh, hey. They've only made four of their last 10. But that tied the game at 51. Two Astro has 12. 240, under 240 now. Bad pass, the vault had position, but Olsen couldn't hit him with the pass, and so South gets the ball and a chance to regain the lead. Well, it does give them an opportunity to set up their full court press, however. Yeah, pass the ball. Even at that, probably a little too much dribbling. As Soon as you see a guy converge, that's where the opening is. And there's another ball thrown away. Zimmerman saves it. Good hands by East, especially Zimmerman. Tipped the ball away and then saved it. Voice guarded by Wilson. Murphy again providing help for uh, Jacob Wilson. Lynch out right side. Zimmerman will try the lane. Sort of a floating 15-footer to vault another offensive board. He's a good player, Stu. He really gets up in the air and uh, plays very hard. Green Bay East will take a timeout. 155 to play. We're tied at 51. Having twins can be a handful. Buy one, get one free. So when I decided to go back to school, I needed to find one that fit my, our lifestyle. Lakeland College was the perfect place. They offer an easy to manage schedule and counselors to help me anytime. Evening classes at Lakeland don't tie my, <laughs> our life in knots. Ever consider a double major? 49 the last time out. Oh, now it's quarter 51. I'm talking yeah. about. Oh. Hey, we're back, Marty. <laughs> Not a lot of baskets for South here in the fourth quarter. Well, and it looks like they're going to have to convert some free throws or uh, 
they're not going to win this one. Uh, definitely, and uh, I think the same thing was happen happened against Manitowoc. They had some a lot of free throw attempts and didn't shoot them very well, and uh, you know, they weren't successful that night. They have to do it tonight. I think what uh, Coach Rosinski is talking to his team about is be a little more patient, value the possession. Now they have the ball and are generally in control. Well, it's amazing what a change in tempo will do. I think uh, South, and uh, with the slow tempo game, was in charge. East looked like they were going nowhere, and as soon as they put that press on, it made was all the a difference in the story. world. Harry Boyce out front, 51 51. Looks like South is in a zone. Nope, it's a man to man. It's Astro guarding Olsen. Murphy's got to, I was going to say, Murphy's got to account for DeVault you know, on a shot attempt, not let him get inside to uh, less, get a tip attempt or a rebound. Less than a minute 30 to play. DeVault has had a very quiet 18 points tonight. Many of them coming inside on offensive rebounds. He's been the blue collar guy out there tonight, that's for sure. You let East take it down, Marty? Well, they're applying pretty good pressure. What's amazing is East hasn't turned it over. The vault, drive, charge. That time Nick Phelan got the charge, stood his ground, and uh, the vault taking it hard to the basket. And I've got him for that being his fifth foul, and uh, boy, that's going to really hurt East. Here it is again. I thought a pretty good call. Yeah, you could see Nick was uh, established and uh, see right on the inside the lane or, out, or just outside the lane. It was very close, not that it matters. And on the NBA, they got that little dotted line. Anything inside of that, it's not a foul. On the inbound, loose ball. Scooby touched it last. And what East will get the ball. That was a good call. Uh, one minute exactly remaining, and we're tied 51 all. Under a minute to play. Zimmerman in the corner gets it to Boyce. Whoa, oh, dangerous pass. Doobie knocked it away. Wilson comes up with the ball. He's going to take it all the way to the hoop and is fouled. Fouls on Olsen, his first. I was going to say, Beck actually got him around the free throw line. No call on that one. And then uh, Wilson smelled it. <laughs> he took it to the hoop hard. Make some free throws, Jake. He's 0 for 2 tonight. He'll get two attempts. Missed one after a made basket and missed the front end of a bonus. He gets two shots here. And made the first. Oh. South back in front, 52-51. He looked real smooth on that attempt. 48.7 seconds to play. That one is bouncing around, no good. Murphy, and he's tied up. The possession, possession arrow, arrow favors East. <laughs> Both of our eyes went over to the table. Seven tenths of a second ticked off the clock, so 47.1 remaining south, back in front, 52-51. Jake Wilson has done a good job with uh, Harry Boyce, but he's gotten some real nice help from Murphy and some of the other teammates on the drive attempts. Boyce from on three. Wilson. That's five on uh, Beck. And fouled by Beck. No, I only got him for four. Now there's a guy that's not been in the game much here in the second half, it seems like. That's because of the press. No, not enough quickness. So Wilson gets a chance again. Uh, one out of two isn't good enough, Stu. We need to have them both. Either way, it's still a one possession game. And misses on the first. Hey, come on now, bend your knees, take a deep breath. That good follow through. Those are happy fingers. And oh, they're real battles happy. around and puts the second one to fall, 53-51. Two-point game, Boyce on the dribble with East. Zastro, and ball for the foul. It was a good idea by Josh to try and step in and steal the ball because the dribble was a high one, but uh, just not quite quick enough. And uh, East not yet in the double bonus, so this will be a bonus free throw coming for Harry Boyce. A lot of pressure on that first one. Yep, and they're down to. That's the nice part. 
has to make the first to get the second. East has only shot six free throws in the entire ball game as a team. And Boyce drains the first one. Looked good on that shot. 14 for Boyce. South had uh, 10 attempts in which they made four free throws. Boyce needs two attempts to hit two and we're tied at 53. Stubby double team gets it to Phelan. Phelan splits the defender. And Zastro wide open and South gets it across half court. Under 25 seconds to go. Phelan with 20. Now Wilson, East needs to regroup. Wilson on the drive at 14, knocked away. Back, Zastro from behind, knocks it away again. Phelan oh, gets it they're gonna oh. get him for a foul. That's a bad, 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 bad call. Boy, he, he did the right thing. You know, he tipped from underneath and looked like he got it clean, but uh, they're calling him on front of foul with 9.6 seconds. Let's see if we can uh, pick up if he gets the arm or not. No way. If that, if that was an arm right there, then that's oh. not They called him for that on the back of the jersey, I'm sure. Well, Beck's yeah. first trip to the line. He hasn't scored since the first quarter. He just did. Tell you what, Marty, if you're going to let him play, you got to call it the same way on both ends. And there was a big skirmish on the opposite end that forced that turnover. And we'll have a timeout. 9.6 seconds to go. Let's keep it right here. 54-53, East with the lead. What uh, kind of strategy are we talking about if you're in the south huddle right now? First of all, you gotta secure the rebound on a miss. That's, that's number one, and you got plenty of time. Uh, 9.6 seconds is a lot. You know, get the ball up the floor. Uh, might be a good chance. I think this is what Jacob Wilson wanted to do on that last possession was penetrate and then get it back out. Uh, that might be a good option. If they make the two free throws, now you're looking at a little different situation because you have to beat the press. And uh, that's gonna take them a little more time. But even at that, even if it takes you six seconds to get down the floor, you still have over three to get a nice shot. And that's enough time to do a penetrating pitch too. And if you're East coach Rick Rosinski, I think you have a little quandary because you hit the free throw, you have a tendency to maybe wanna pull back and set up your defense half court. But on the other hand, it's the press that's really kept South on their heels all I game I think long. on a make, they're gonna keep the press on because it's been so successful. And it also helps the other team to eat the clock and not be able to come down and, and get in their offensive set as quick. Well, part of the strategy is gonna be dependent on whether Chris Beck hits his free throw or not. He's and you know, I'll tell you what, depending on what happens in this ball game, that is gonna be the story is the free throw line. East, three attempts in the fourth quarter, They've made all three. And now four for four. It's a two-point East lead, 9.6 seconds. Oh. And South threw it away. I think he didn't want to touch it and, you know, maybe dribble it up, you know, after letting it bounce or so. And uh, Well, it's a mistake on the clock here because there should be 9.6. No, no time yeah. should have gone off. East gets the inbound and a foul on Murphy with 7.8 seconds to go. And that's fifth, Murphy's fifth foul. Well, the Red Wings still have a lot of time. If uh, well, he's going to get two attempts, you got to. Well, even if, if he Lynch makes only one, hits one, they've still got a lot of time. Seven point eight. I think Al McGuire used to say you got to have at least eight tenths of a second to be able to get a shot off. Anything less than that, the game's over. No. They've got seven point eight. What they need is a is a miss free throw, at least one miss free throw. Uh, Two makes and they're down four. Preferably two hard. misses. Yeah, that would be real nice. And if you're going to get a make, wouldn't you rather have it on the second one? Because then you get a chance to inbound. Right. It. Yeah, the clock does not start, although it did start <laughs> last time. And it's time. the home gym. What's going <laughs> on, guys? <laughs> that, it could be 8.5 on the clock right now, Marty. I mean, that's critical time. It is. And there's a big miss right there. That was Lynch. Lynch with the Malik Lynch with the miss.
I'm feeling OT, baby. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to aim on off with a lane violation. Oh, we've seen it all tonight. Well, we haven't seen that call tonight. The ball, I don't think the ball. I thought the ball should be put in play at the, on the sideline. Free throw line, isn't it? All right, free throw line extended, yeah, on the side. You got time, you got time, you got time. Point eight, Stuby. Oh, and a timeout with six seconds to go. <laughs> I'll tell you this, too, I don't like that timeout. I don't like it because now you got to get the ball back in bounds. And, uh, you know, you got your guy on the run. Although, you know what? They might be setting up the old alley oop. Well, well, they them do this out of timeouts. But the other uh, thing that's happened is uh, they've had a couple opportunities tonight where they've had the back door cut. Remember, we made the reference to the Princeton offense early. Zastro got the easy bunny. Well, they've had a couple more that were just knocked away or they didn't uh, handle the pass. That's what I was thinking in terms of that uh, backdoor lob kind of thing, although it might be tough to do against uh, East because they're so athletic. It'll be interesting to see what he comes up with, you know, think, who they go to. I think, uh, you know, let's hit a three-point bomb and go home. Hey, I'm all for that. <laughs> I think uh, about 95% of the fans in the stands are, would like that also. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, the first three quarters, uh, were played at slow snail's pace compared to this fourth quarter, which has been a very frenetic. In terms of uh, type of play, you know, in terms of uh, real time, it's probably been the slowest quarter by far. I believe you are correct. All right, six seconds to go. Failing to bring it in, gets it to Stuby. Clock running. Got to hurry. Three seconds to go. Stuby fake shot. No good. At the buzzer, Stuby's bank shot rolls off the rim, no good, and Green Bay East with a come from behind, 55-53 victory over Sheboygan South. We'll be back to recap the scoring right after this. Certified Angus beef from Piggly Wiggly. Dad likes big, juicy steaks. T-bone, four and a half. But steakhouses just take forever. So Dad cooks it up himself. Who needs reservation anyway? Restaurant quality certified Angus beef. Just one more reason to shop at Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly, My compliments to the chef. Got a tie clinched. Marty, they played 14 games, 8-3, and 10-0, no. until tonight. They, they played Tuesday night. They beat Southwest. That was 11. Yeah. So that paper was wrong? The Schweigen Press wrong? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I think I we're back. I don't buy it. We're back and we're not ready. <laughs> what do you think of that? Well, I can tell you this, in the fourth quarter, South attempted 12 free throws and made uh, six of them, and uh, that was part of the story. Okay. And in the second half, they attempted uh, 16 free throws total and made nine, and uh, that's still not a very good percentage. So and, uh, I guess that we was... really are back, Marty. Yeah, I thought I you were we just are. kidding. No. I'm sitting here trying to get the total <laughs> scoring. <laughs> Well, everybody, it was a 20 to 11 fourth quarter scoring surge by Green Bay East, and uh, in the middle of that was a dunking exhibition. <laughs> he that, did put uh, one on three in a row. You know, I, I think we have to go back to the regional tournament game, Oshkosh North and Sheboygan North, about three, four years ago when they had uh, the kid that's now a wide receiver for the oh, Badgers. Yeah, uh, Charles. Yeah, Darren he Charles. Had about, he had about three or four dunks, but. Uh, uh, unfortunately, Green Bay East throws the press at South and uh, the Red Wings uh, just weren't up to it. I was uh, actually pretty surprised because I remember we did uh, a game here the other week and I said, you know, this pressure, you know, isn't hurting South because they've got three guards on the floor and uh, actually three and a half when you figure uh, Lubach or Zastro. And uh, tonight it was a totally different story. They really succumbed to the pressure defense, not only full court, but also half court, and uh, cost them the ball game in the long run. I'm listening to you, Marty. Keep talking. <laughs> you I'm get, to get those get total scores, scores out done. there. Uh, the other thing that uh, hurt was Murphy being out quite a bit of time in the uh, second quarter, I believe it was. Uh, although they were able, South was able to hang on to the lead. They had uh, Murphy and Phelan out of the ball game uh, with foul trouble. They still hung on to a four point lead at halftime. 
uh, with those kids on the floor for most of the second half, uh, the press really got to them, like I mentioned before. Geez, I think I actually have all the South scores, if you can believe that, under pressure tonight. Well, first of all, for Green Bay East, DeVault led uh, all scores with 18 points tonight before falling out. Boyce was the other Green Bay East player in double figures with 15, and make that three East players because back with those two free throws at the yeah, end had 10. Uh, had 10 points. So they led Green Bay East, and again, as you were mentioning, uh, East really put it away with free throws, although uh, they opened the door with those two misses right at the end of the ball game. South couldn't convert. Leading Sheboygan South tonight was Nick Phelan. He had 15. Zastro had 12. They were the only two Red Rings with double figures tonight. Murphy, 8. Wilson, 6. Stubbe had 7. Lubach, 2. And Vaughn's had that three-point shot in the first half. With the defeat, South now in a tie with Green Bay East. They're both 8-4 and four in conference play. And the Red Wings now drop to 13-5, and five, although it's still been a great year for Dan Koopman and company. Both these teams still have to play Sheboygan North uh, in conference play. Uh, South, of course, will be playing North next Saturday at the Armory, and then the following Friday, North will play East in the last game of uh, the conference uh, season. You know, the other thing that I forgot to mention as you were figuring out the scoring, and I thought South over... Uh, survived was the lack of rebounding, especially in the first half, uh, they hung in there. The guy that was really impressive on the rebounding end for East was uh, J.D. DeVault. He was uh, inside, you had mentioned too, had a quiet 18 points, but uh, he was a demon around the board. No doubt about that. Well, Marty, you're taking the play-by-play, -play, Mike, next Saturday at the Armory. Remember, it's TV8 Live. We better get off of this shot before Brian gets some back <laughs> problems here. Brian, Scott, and Tim, another fantastic job. Uh, our crew always uh, doing a great job, and they'll be bringing it to you live next Saturday night. For my partner, Mike Martin, I'm Stu Hoffensperger. Thanks, everyone, for joining us, and so long.